Hi boys and girls, welcome to Hi-Hat Time with Mrs. Wise and our old friend Hi-Hat. Today he is going to teach us a brand new sound and this story that he's going to tell us today is one of my favorite. So I want you to start right now trying to say the F sound. Can you curl your bottom lip over like this? Put your teeth on top and go F because we're learning the F sound today. I had as a really good story for us. Would you like to sing his song for him today? We haven't sung it in a while, so let's sing. Here comes Hi-Hat, hooray, he's back again today. Here comes Hi-Hat, aha, with lots of games to play. He has something in his pocket and he's carrying his cane. Here comes Hi-Hat, hooray, he's back again today. Now let's see what sound, what story I have has for us today that has the th sound. It's a story about Fanny Fox. And the th sound looks just like this. It's the letter F. Can you say that with me? F and th. Okay, here we go. In almost every hi-hat story, things are coming out of hi-hat's hat and pocket. But today, I want to tell you about something that went into hi-hat's pocket. One day, hi-hat was walking along in the country, and suddenly, something running very fast came toward him and jumped into his pocket. Hi-hat couldn't even get a look at it. Hey, said Hi-Hat, I feel something furry in my pocket. If you'll come out, maybe I can help you. Well, there was a fast little wiggle in the pocket and out popped the face of <gasps> Fanny Fox. Oh, please, sir, said Fanny Fox. May I hide in your pocket until the big fox hunt is finished. I'm afraid the hunting dogs will find me. <gasps> you shouldn't have to worry, Fanny, said Hi-Hat. You're the famous, fastest fox in the forest. Surely you can run faster than any of the dogs. <gasps> Fanny began to cry. She told Hi-Hat the sad news. Every year, Fanny ran so fast that the hunting dogs couldn't find her. But this year, the hunters had sent for the world-famous fox-chasing dog, Fillmore Foxhound. Poor Fanny Fox was fearful that Fillmore Foxhound would catch her this year. Why never fear, Fanny, said Hi-Hat. I have just the thing for you. And he reached down into his pocket and fished out a funny-looking thing. What in the world is that? asked Fanny Fox. This is one of my own inventions, said Hi-Hat with a big smile. I call it the fake fox. You just turn on the switch when the dogs are about to find you, and away goes the fake fox, flicking her fox tail in the air, and all the fox dogs follow after the fake fox and you can relax for a little while. Fanny Fox thanked Hi-Hat for his fine help, and when the fox hunt began, Fanny had no trouble at all. She just flipped on Hi-Hat's fake fox, and Fillmore Foxhound and all the other dogs chased that fake fox for miles and miles and miles. Hi-Hat smiled as he went on his way because more than anything else, Hi-Hat likes to help people. Now, did you hear all those f sounds in our story? Well, I have written some f words on the board and I'm gonna use Hi-Hat's pointer and I wanna show you some of the f words. We have the f sound right here and we have the word f -an. fan. Fast, fast, that was in our story. F food, food, f fin, f fog, 
And over here we have f far, f fit, f fun, f fat. Did you call me fat? Don't you call me fat? That's not nice. F or for. Now, I want you to look around your house and find all the things you can find. Did you hear that f word? F find that start with the f sound. Let mommy and daddy help you and look for all the f sounds. And while you're at it, remember we learned about the m sound and the e sound as well. So look for those sounds too. We're moving right along on our journey to learning to read. I'm so proud of you. I love you. Goodbye till next time.